going on? It's Remy Live in HD. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for updates, uh, new videos, all that good stuff. Going to Roof TV Cat. I got him on deck. Get at me. Mm. This is a good one. In this session, I want to talk about silence. Silence. Non response. Sometimes no response is the best response. And other times, silence allows you the opportunity to get the job done. It's real important for us not to be so much reactors because that's what this system is set up for us to do. We, 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 we like to react to stuff. We like to jump at stuff. We like to, you know, when something happens, we just start get the jerk in and, oh, oh I, I got it, you know. And it's not always the best move. A lot of that uh, reactionary stuff doesn't really have a lot of thinking involved. I like to pride myself to be a thinker. And uh, I'm becoming a better thinker as the years go by. And a faster thinker. A lot of times we react because we don't want to think. So what does that do? That gives the event the power. That gives the offense the power. That gives the accuser the prop the power that gives the uh, violator the the, uh, the power in the situation because now they're guiding your reaction but when you are a thinker and when you learn how to properly respond to certain things in certain situations um, it gives you a bit of an edge because now you get to assess how you want to respond it's not all scenarios it's not all scenarios you know, because a lot of us are caught off guard and, and reaction is just what we do. But um, when you get in certain environments and you get in certain scenarios where you, you know, you got to uh, 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 um, adjust of the energy. You got to you got like a an idea of the temperature of the environment of the capabilities, of the tendencies, proclivities of the people in the environment. Um, certain things don't surprise you. So um, responding after assessing all your options it's the best move. Because when you react, you kind of operate out of default. And some of our defaults haven't been regenerated. They haven't been uh, adapted. They haven't been matured. They haven't been adjusted. And they need adjustment. A lot of our default responses. Anybody know? What I'm talking about. So, with that being said, and, and, and improving and moving forward and building oneself and building our lives to be the highest quality it can possibly be, we need to do more thinking. Even in scenarios that might be unfavorable. Some scenarios we find ourselves in, we realize like it's a lose lose regardless. How, which way this goes it's a lose lose and in those scenarios it really behooves us to um think about what our response is going to be that's why silence is so important and sometimes we need just time to think
So a non-response doesn't necessarily mean no response at all. A non-response means not a, not a response now. Now is not the time for a response. Let's table this. Let's park this. See how we feel later. See if it's worth it. Some things we make a big deal out of is not really a big deal. I've done it several times. Why? Because in the past, I used to be a, um, I used to react to a lot of scenarios without thinking. A lot of us have. A lot of us still do. But it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to be comfortable with the best choice you can come up with. Because a lot of times we react to certain scenarios and we look back on it like, man, that wasn't, no, that wasn't smart. That wasn't the smartest thing I could have did. This could have went another way. I could have did this. I could have did it. Man, now you got the regret going on. Now you got the, dang, I wish I would have. Dang, I could have diffused. Dang, I could have, you know, could have made a better choice. Could have made. And all that came from that split second response. Not thinking, not assessing, not looking at all the variables around the decision. Not looking at all the possible outcomes that could happen based on your decision to react. A lot of times we don't have a lot of time to think. That's why it's important to build ourselves In the time of peace, so that when the war does happen, or battle, or disagreement, or conflict, or whatever happens, we'll already be equipped to respond maturely. This applies to so many different scenarios. So many different scenarios. Because life's going to hit us with a lot of things. And it's not going to stop. So, but the thing about it is not what we get hit with, it's how we respond. When we respond. What do we respond with? But the key is to keep the power with you. Don't give nobody else your power. That's where we miss it every single time. We let people drain us of our power. We let people drain us of our choices. We let people drain us of our decision-making skills. We let people think for us. Because a lot of people will actually probe you to get a certain type of response out of you and based on your maturity level at the moment you, you might take the bait a lot of people are vetting you and baiting you to get a certain response out of you so they can uh affirm an impression they have about you or to show someone else an impression they have about you and when you respond the same way you always respond see i told you i see i told you about you know a lot of people want to set you up to look a certain way. When you react, instead of respond, you give them everything they want. Heard a wise man say, a man that doesn't think is a dangerous man. A man that doesn't think a dangerous man.
So yeah, um, I'm not going to keep going on this one. I'm just going to let a lot of these thoughts marinate. Um, we can revisit this at another time. Uh, this is Remy Live in HD. Like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Comment, share, do whatever you need to do, whatever. You want these caps? They are on deck. Get at me. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next session.